Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. It's been about a week since I've played, since I had to force myself to stop playing, because I spent so long playing this game last weekend that I had enough for eight episodes worth, so over a week's worth in about three days, over Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So if I didn't stop playing Dark Souls 2, then I wouldn't have had any other games on my channel. Consequently, I'm really excited to get back into it, and I'm also probably going to be slightly rusty. Let's see if I can remember how to move. And dodge, attack. Okay, yeah, I think I got it. But, um, after just defeating that last boss, I can't remember her name. What was her name? Scorpionus Najka, I think? Something like that? Anyway, I was going to think of what to do with the 30,000 souls I got from killing her. But, in the intervening week, as I was just kind of fantasizing about the next time I was going to play Dark Souls 2 and thinking about it, I was thinking, you know what? I should probably respec my character. Because I spent a lot of points. No, not there. There we go. I spent a lot of points on particularly strength. That's kind of the, the biggest one I've spent a lot of points into. I've got it up to 30. Just to be able to test out this Final Fantasy sword, let's go ahead and get it out. And the, I suppose, Final Fantasy shield. Do they even have shields in Final Fantasy? I feel like I've only seen the Final Fantasy characters having massive weapons. No shields. <laughs> I just love how it looks. It looks so ridiculous. It's really intimidating. But man, can I not wield it worth a shit? <sighs> But yes, I put a bunch of strength to be able to test this thing out and also test out that great shield. The thing is, though, I don't actually want to use these weapons. I, I don't really like using them. I don't appear to be very effective with them. They're just not really my thing. At least not yet. Which means I have a ton of points in strength that I don't need. I got it all the way up to 30, but I don't need anywhere near that. I only need... Well, let's see what my halberd uses. No, not there. There we go. Yeah, I mean, my halberd needs 20. 20, 20. Yeah, I mean, the highest any normal sort of weapon requires that I have on me is 20. So I've got, like, at least... I've got about 10 points in strength that could go into something else and be vastly more useful. So I'm going to respect my character. Yeah, someone else suggested I respect my character, and I was already thinking about it, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So let's go do that. I just had a major brain fart about the controls of the game. Okay, there we go. I, th I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Alright, let's go to... Where it all began. Things betwixt. Let's go speak to the old fire keepers. Honestly, I'm a little bit scared to do this, because I'm kind of worried something's going to go wrong and all of my souls are going to be lost, and... Well... I don't know what I'd do if that happened. I would be very, very, very angry. Let's put that thing away. Okay, who do I speak to? I know I need to use my... thingy. Where's my thingy? Which one is it? It's one of these. Soul vessel, that's it. Yeah, show this to a certain person. They can allow reallocation of levels, but without proper assistance, it may simply drain you of souls. So I need to present this to one of you. Is it you? I think you're the one I was talking to, right? Still determined as ever, I see. <laughs> Do mm -hmm. you wish to start all over again? I do. Okay. Here we go. Please let nothing go wrong, because this, this should give me like a bajillion souls. Take a deep breath. And let it out slowly. Yes. Okay. 
How does this work? Oh, so it just allows me to... Okay, it doesn't actually give me souls, it just allows me to reallocate levels directly. Okay, gotcha. Right? Oh, I see, so they've all gone... Yeah, they've all gone to their minimum. Is that what's happened? Yeah, right? Okay, so... So I only want to... Damn it, stupid D-pad. D-pad's really going to screw me up here. So I'm only going to raise strength to 20. Wait a minute, no, this is... What the... What is happening? How does this work? Oh, okay. <laughs> I confused myself for a second. So I have 42 skill points to spend, so let's get strength up to 20. Let's just go for 20. And let's go for about 15 dexterity. That should give me enough to use any of the normal weapons and shields I want to use. The halberd, the claymore, normal shield, whatever. Perfectly fine. So that's going to give me a lot more to play with. Now, I want... Let's see, I'm going to kind of base my stats around what this... Uh, uh, what the person telling me that I should respect my character was suggesting, which is around, like... Yeah, so put a lot more in Vigor and Endurance, basically. Which... Oh my god. That is going to give me a lot of health. I don't know if I want to put that many points in that. I don't know. Let's just follow the suggestion, and then I'll see if I want to tweak it. So this is the really surprising thing. A hell of a lot of Endurance is what they suggested. Yeah, it's going to give me a lot of stamina. Hmm. Vitality to about 12. Okay, that's about what they suggested, I think. Yeah, it looks about right. They suggested one less, dex one less dexterity. So very low adaptability, which is kind of surprising. The uh, thing is, I don't know if I actually want this much vigor. I actually think I'm going to take a couple out of Vigor, and I'm going to put them into Adaptability. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to have... The major change is that I have a lot less Strength, but that's not terribly relevant to what I'm doing. But I'm going to have a hell of a lot more Vigor, which means a lot more Hit Points, and a lot more Endurance, which means a lot more Stamina. Those are the biggest changes. Alright. Here we go. I am born anew. Yeah, I've spent all my skill points. Everything's good. Let me just double check. I really don't want to mess this up. Yeah, it looks good. It seems like a lot of points in Vigor. I kind of want to take out a couple more. And put them in Adaptability. Well, you know, I do have 30,000... Souls. I could just... Yeah, so I could level up a bit more. Alright. Here we go. I feel, journey without rest. <laughs> I feel like everything's going to be different now. Do I, do I walk differently? Do I roll differently? Oh, yeah. So what would that do for my weight? 62%. Yeah, which is the one that controls... How much you can carry? Vitality? Yeah. I want to put a little bit more in vitality, maybe. Maybe. 62%. That's kind of pushing it, because I I might want to use a shield. Mm, I don't know. Do you have anything new to say? My name is Millibeth. The old women were once fire keepers. I am here to look after them. It is what my mother did, and her mother before her, and so on. The old women were keepers of the fire. But now, the fire shows signs of fading. And the kingdom is beset by hollows. The old women are sisters. I am told there was a fourth. Long ago, fire keepers were commonplace. But now they are lost. Scattered to the winds. 
The old women are sick long ago, but now. Hmm. It's little details like that about the Dark Souls universe that always intrigue me. I'm told there was a fourth, but scattered, lost to the wind. I wonder if you can actually find the fourth, you know? I mean, maybe she's out there. Maybe I can find her. It's cool knowing that stuff like that might not just be window dressing. It might actually be part of the story that you can personally encounter. It's pretty cool. Let's see if you have anything new to say. Still do you? You must go on a journey without rest. Well, I suppose if you find, but if your will is yet to start. It, no, that's what she said before. Go along. On a journey without rest. Hold on a second. I've got an idea. I think it's time for a rematch with the Hipposaurus Rex. I'm pretty sure I'm still going to die, by the way. Because I am going to attempt to do this with my Halberd, which I'm pretty sure is not going to work out too well. I'm pretty sure you're going to want a character that's either very light so they can dodge very far, or somebody with a shield. It's probably not the best way to go about this, but you know, what the hell. I don't think I can sneak up on him. Doesn't he always, like, hear me? No, maybe not. Hoot! Yeah. Ow. Ow. And I'm dead. <laughs> you really need a shield or a to be so light that you can dodge really far. Unless I can just dodge to the side? I don't think I can dodge to the side. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm kinda curious though. Let, let me try that one more time. Freaking hippos are the hardest enemies in the game for me. I'm gonna try dodging to the side. I'm, I really am pretty sure that's not going to work. I mean, it's kind of ironic that dodging hands is, seems to be harder than dodging a blade. It's just the hands have more room to hit you, where a blade has to actually the blade has to actually hit you. So it's relatively easy to dodge. Oh. Do you know what I forgot? I forgot that I had 30,000 souls. Fuck. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I forgot I had 30,000 souls. <laughs> I just re reallocated, allocated. Oh, God. I just reallocated all my points. So I kind of just thought, like, I've spent everything. No, no. You know what? I'm not going to fight the hippo. I'm good. Right, so I do have to actually decide what I want to spend that on. Obviously some of that's going to go towards the levels. Hello, almost naked person. How are you doing? <laughs> person with, like, no armor and a dagger. Good luck. Alright, so first thing I want to spend the souls on would be any, like, repairs or upgrades, and then spend the rest on levels. So, let's see what everybody's got. What have you got? This is my sort of, like... Now, it feels like every major play session, like every week, I kind of reevaluate my character and what I'm doing with my equipment, so this is that time. So, let's just see what you've got. Broadsword. Falcon, or Falchion, or however you pronounce that. S-Dock. Interesting. Thrusting Sword. Yeah, Spear could be kind of cool. I'm not going to use it, but I know I have a ring from one of the bosses I defeated that increases what the, the something, like the damage of thrusting weapons or something. Some sort of a bonus to thrusting weapons. Arrows, don't care. Screw ranged, and repair powder, which I don't still don't understand how that works exactly. Titanite shard, okay. Do I want to reinforce anything? Maybe. What about my helmet? Hmm. 
Mm, could use Twinkling Titanite. That would improve it a pretty good amount. And it is... I mean, it seems like a really good helmet. You know, it's a named helmet, so I'm probably not going to find anything better for a while. I think that's a pretty safe bet. Now, I know I already upgraded this once, right? Yeah. And I don't have too many shards left. Too many normal shards, anyway. Hmm, do I really want to upgrade my armor, or would I rather save that for maybe a weapon? I don't know. The thing is, if I want to spend Twinkling Titanite, I'd rather spend it... When it comes to armor, I'd rather spend it on the... Uh, the main piece like this. The chest piece, if you will, because that has the most effect. These other pieces are relatively small. I think I'll save it. Now, my Halby's already at plus two. I would need to spend all the rest of my Titanite shards to upgrade it again. Although, I could, of course, just buy more Titanite shards, as always. I'm still not entirely sure if I want to use the Halberd. Might want to use the Claymore or maybe the Cool Axe. The dragony electrifying axe thingamajig. Huh. Don't waste my time. See if there's any armor to buy. There probably isn't. I think I've got a pretty good set. But just in case. I'm glad to see you. I considered returning to my home. I've started to. Do. I've already talked to him, right? I yeah. I've Okay, I'm considering a different shield, actually. Because, at the moment, the only kind of normal shield I really have is the one that I got at the very beginning of the game, and I'm thinking there's got to be something better, right? I mean, come on. Ooh. Ooh. Elite Knight Armor. Is that not the better version of what I have? I have the Knight Armor, right? Elite, elite, elite. I like it. I like it a lot. Hold on, let's compare. By the way, somebody tell me, is there an easy way to compare equipment? Like side by side, compare the stats with of this item here, this elite night glove. Can I compare it to what I already have equipped? Because I don't see a way, and it seems like a major fucking oversight. Like I'm writing down the stats on paper. You shouldn't have to do that. If there is a way, please tell me. Dear God, I would love there to be a way. 33 is the main protection, and it weighs 3.7 libs. Pounds. That's about all I need. Always open for business. Okay. 3.7, so it's a little bit heavier. It's definitely significantly better. This slightly heavier. But I think I'm okay with that. To buy? Let's go ahead and do it. You know, I'm gonna buy a full set. Maybe. I'm not sure about the chest piece, should I? Hmm, not sure. Okay. Unless there's something better. It seems like this is the most expensive set, is the Elite Knight. Yeah, okay. So let's go with the gloves. How many would you like to buy? I would like to buy 12 gloves! Do I get a discount for buying in bulk? Costco? Is there a membership fee? And some leggings. Do I want to replace the chest piece? Eh, whatever. Let's do it. Thanks very much. Do come again. Supporting the local economy. Okay. Yep, quite a bit better, although it's actually worse at something. What, hold on, what is this? This. Poise. Ability to withstand the impact of attacks. Hmm. I wonder why that'd be worse. So, better able to withstand damage, less poise. And a little bit heavier. Not a big deal, though. It only makes a 0.4% difference to my weight. Yep, once again, a little bit less poise. Significantly more armor, though. A little bit heavier. And a 
and the chest piece. A little bit better. I need to upgrade the Elite Knight armor, though. Mm, significantly less poise. Less resistance against certain things, too. Poison and bleeding, it looks like. Ooh, that looks cool, though, doesn't it? And, of course, I'm not changing the helmet. Hell no. That looks pretty badass. Hopefully that poise doesn't make a huge difference. Okay, let's upgrade my armor. Yeah, that's going to make it quite a bit better. It gives about 10 more stats. For the general stuff, the, you know, protection against blades and whatnot. Okay, cool. Looking pretty damn sexy. Now, let's see what you've got. And you? No, I can never resist you, Merchant Hag Malentia. You beautiful being. Everyone's so stingy around here. I know, Everyone's right? so stingy everywhere. You're my only customer. I think I've already bought stuff from her, right? <laughs> what more can I buy? That's worth a damn, anyway. Don't care about any of that stuff. Okay, yeah, so she's the general supplier. General supplies, human effigies, life... Life gems and whatnot. That's weird. Why does this pop up in her store even though she doesn't have any? Because I already bought it. Hmm. Yeah, it's really nothing I want. Lowly yeah, someone did suggest that if you buy stuff from NPCs, that can make stuff happen. Certain quests and whatnot. And it does seem like maybe I could do that with her, if you notice she says... You know, don't abandon me, Every, everyone's so stingy, tongue. you're my only customer. So maybe if I buy more stuff from her, something might happen, but... I don't know, I don't really feel like buying anything from her at the moment. Um, anyone else I need to visit? So I've got some armor, reinforce my weapon, or reinforce my armor, rather. Oh wait, I was thinking of buying a shield, right? Yeah, I was thinking of buying a shield. I just need to compare the stats. So... Alright, so these are tiny shields. I'm just looking at the general protection. 60, 60, 60. So this is kind of like my basic shield. 95. It's pretty good. You can parry with it. You know, it's a moderately big shield. Not a huge one. Not a small one. It's three pounds. Now, I have heard that smaller shields actually give you more of a grace period when it comes to parrying. So that might be worth trying. <laughs> Look at these great shields. Oh boy, they're massive. Okay, so let's just compare it against this one. Let's see what he's got. So, three pounds. 95. And, well, that's pretty much the most relevant things. You would... Oh, wait. Is that you that has the shields? Don't waste my time. Forget to buy something. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's a small shield. Normal shield, it's only... It's only got 60 protection. The other one had 95. And that's a great shield, which is freaking huge. Although I can actually use it, it only requires 20 strength. Which is actually really surprising. But the thing is, you can't parry with it. Then again, do I even want to parry? I'm terrible at it, apparently, so maybe not. Yeah, I, there's no reason to buy any of those. Always open for business. Hmm. Now that I've bought stuff from him, let's see if he has anything Get new to say. I considered returning to my... I can see I've started to turn a handsome profit now. Nope. Always open for business. Though he does say that he's started to turn a handsome profit, so that's probably a good sign. A 
I think it's time to go level up. Nothing more to buy. Who left a message on top of this rock? I can't take this? Is, is that a question? I'm supposed to answer that? I, I don't know. You tell me. Can you take it? She sells stuff. I don't think she sells anything that matters, though. She's pyromancy, right? Oh my god. Do it, butthole. Fuck you. Hello again. <laughs> I could give her more stuff. Yeah, various defenses. And a bunch of spells. Yeah, let's give her something new. I mean, she's already got something pretty good, but I don't know. Traveling merchant hat might look kind of cool. There you go. Uh, how do I give it to her? No. Oh, there we go. I'm always here, so come and see me when you're in town. Okay, now it's time to level up. I spent like what a half hour redoing my character. That's Bear fine. Of the seeks, seek the less. Okay, so I do want to be able to hold more equipment. I've gained a little bit of weight with my new armor. I'm pushing uncomfortably close to like 70 75%. Don't want to be slow rolling. Uh, let's go ahead and put two in that. Other than that, what do I want to spend it on? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really want any more strength or dexterity. Let's go with that, and then let's use up a soul so I can do one more skill point. I've almost got enough. Need about a thousand more. Hmm, might not quite be enough. Okay, final point. Vigor. Get it back up to 20. I really want to be able to roll far. I'm going to go with Vitality. Okay, what's my weight at? 59%, that's much better. They see me rolling. Alright, where to now? Hold on, I just noticed something. Look at that. When you tire yourself out, you have this little idle animation, like you're trying to catch your breath. And then it goes away once I guess your stamina has reached a high amount. That's a cool little detail I never noticed before. Okay, once again, where to? There's a lot of places I can go, really, a lot of them. I actually want to get into some PvP at some point soon, not quite yet. I don't want to use a human effigy just yet. I want to use it when my maximum health has gone down quite a bit so I get the most kind of efficient use out of the human effigy. And then there I might try PvP. I'm thinking... Well, I didn't finish here, did I?
Let's see if I can remember how to combat. Be nice to have messages here, too. Didn't have them before since the uh, servers were down at the time. Be wary of left. Yes. Let's take these guys out. I've already been here before. Just familiarize myself with combat again. Okay, not bad. Okay, now I'm trying to remember. Did I ever go forwards? I don't think I did, did I? I went into the fog, I know that. But I don't think I ever went forwards. Did I? Visions of equipment breakage. Oh god. More acid. Be wary of up like a dream. Whoa. It's a gigantic tower. I'm not exactly scared of it falling, though. Did I go this way? Hmm. Okay, a tree and an item and a pathway. So no, I did not go this way. But before I go this way, I want to finish exploring the fog. Because the headless guy... Or rather, the head talked about the rest of his body wandering around somewhere. And there's gotta be more in here that I haven't found. Try dash. What? You mean just like run through? Now, this is a bad weapon for this, right? I remember it was, just because it goes down only in front of you rather than like a wide arc and I can't lock on. Wait a minute, am I seeing... Oh no, Whew. God, I thought I was seeing a massive giant in the fog, but I'm just seeing things. It was just a... like a smudge. Okay, this place is creepy. Um... How much damage did this thing do? It's really quite good. What about the claymore? I've heard that the claymore is a really good weapon. I mean, it certainly is. Hmm, which one do I want to use? Well, this one does more damage, so... I guess I'll use this for now. Okay. My goal here is to explore and find anything I've missed in the fog. I get so paranoid in here. Try attacking. Um... Jesus? What if I keep attacking? Chopping down this tree. Doesn't seem to do anything. I don't think I want to keep doing that either. Yeah, I've got a lot more stamina. I can get four hits in with this thing. Ugh. Treasure ahead. Where's the head? I can go anywhere. Enemy ahead? Well, I mean, they're everywhere.
Let's go around the outskirts for now. Feel out the edge of this place. I remember there's a big clearing somewhere around here. Ooh. Okay, let's not get excited. Oh yeah, this is the end of the world place. One has to wonder, if I went down there, would I actually die? I mean, I don't know, maybe... Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It's so satisfying when you get one of those, like, roll attacks off. Boom! Please don't be poison, please don't be poison, please don't be poison. I think I've only seen one poison chest, actually. Oh, ooh, old sun ring. Hold on, let me make sure nobody's watching. Okay. Explodes at damage threat. What? An odd stone ring containing a fiery heat accumulates power as the user is harmed, then explodes, damaging surrounding enemies while leaving its wear unscathed. Our deeds will come back to us in some form or another, both good and bad. Well, I mean, leaves me unscathed. Why not use it? I certainly don't need this ash knuckle ring at the moment. Alright. No idea what the damage threshold is, but we'll see. Makes me look a little bit fiery. Hello there. Whoa. Why did they disappear? Oh, was that a... Maybe that was a player. Be wary of Quagmire. Giggity giggity goo. Liar ahead, be wary of jumping. How did you die? Let me guess, you fell off. Oh, no, you got stabbed. You probably fell off, right? <laughs> nice roll. Oh, I see you. I see you. Are they coming towards me? Nope. Oh, little pathway, just ahead. Make sure I'm not being followed. Oh, this is how you get to that chest up there, right? Yeah, be wary of back. Yeah, seems fine. Ooh, hello. Oh, there it goes. I wonder if opening opening the chest actually triggers an enemy to come up. Another ring. Oh, raises stamina recovery speed. Oh, I wouldn't mind wearing two. Oh, okay, you can only wear one. Okay, in that case, I'll replace this one with it. Alright, I feel like I've probably fully explored the outskirts of this place. Keep moving, bonfire ahead. 
Yeah, this just goes up to a place I've already been, right? Horse? Yeah, that just goes up there. And the other one goes to the head. So, I guess the only question left is kind of like, what's in the center? I think I've already madly dashed through the center, but... You know, it might be a good idea to see if there's anything else here. I keep thinking if I hit one of these, something's gonna happen. Oh shit. Oh my god! Fuck you! Is that the first time I've ever been backstabbed? I honestly hadn't even considered the possibility of being backstabbed. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm not sure where this headless body is. Maybe it's not actually... here. Maybe it's somewhere else. I'm not sure how much damage that ring's actually doing. Anyway, I want my souls back. You hear that? I want my souls back. I'm coming for you. I think that explosion actually did a lot of damage. I'm pretty sure the explosion actually killed him. Are you a ghost or a player? That's a player. Oh my god, actually, I just realized how creepy that looks. Having player ghosts move through this ghosty forest. Jesus. Keep moving. Be wary of curse, therefore try destroy. That's actually good advice. Genuinely good advice. Still wondering about this headless corpse. This headless body roving. Oh, shit. I might as well just use my Estus. It's not as if I'm going to go through all of them. Okay, where the hell are my souls? Where art thou, souls? Where did you go?
Oh. I guess the ring, um... Doesn't withstand the explosions very well. That actually makes sense, I suppose, doesn't it? Oh, there's my souls. Let's go ahead and change this out. With... Uh... Where the fucking hell? Okay, can I have a minute here, please? Thank you. Ash Knuckle Ring, I guess? I mean, none of these are really useful at the moment. Sure. <laughs> the strong attack on my left weapon, which doesn't actually exist since I don't have a left weapon, it punches. I wonder if that's effective. I don't think it is. Hmm, I think I have enough for another level. I do. Who else is out here? Hmm? I'm starting to feel like this, uh... Headless dude is actually not here. I think I've been everywhere in here. Unless maybe something special happens when you kill all of them. I'm just testing out the response time between attack and dodge. Not particularly fast. More adaptability would help with that. Not sure how much, though. Yeah, I think I'm done here. Wait. Have I been up here? I... Oh, this is the head place, right? Head ahead. Okay, yeah. Uh, hey buddy, anything, anything new with you? Back again. I cannot lie. I was a hired hand, yes. And for his highness, but perhaps it's for the best. I was born, eventually. I've been a cell sword ever since. All I ever knew was war. What a f I think I've already been through this, I'm right? Grateful for, but such yeah. What? I cannot. I was a high and for his heart, but, but. Anything new? Soul protection? I already got a bunch of those. Nope, nope, nope. Gold pine resin. Okay. Farewell. I will retire to my. All right. Let me just see if I can get my freaking way out of this place. Thankfully, I think I've mostly pacified everything. Ooh, I think this is it. Yes, 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 okay. Whew. Well, let's go ahead and level up. want to be able to dodge further. I kind of want to just keep, keep increasing my vitality. 
or adaptability just to dodge faster. I'm pretty sure that's what that does. I feel like adaptability should be higher. Hmm. I'm gonna increase vitality. Let's see, what's it at now? 60.5. Oh, I guess it kind of went up because of the axe. Yeah, I think the axe weighs a little bit more than the halberd. Yeah, one pound more. Okay. Right, yeah, my dodge is pretty good. Not good enough for the hippos, but it's alright. Alright. Let's go back here, and this time, let's go straight. The one place I haven't been. Swap this out for the good old Halby. of up. Expecting an ambush of some sort. Hmm, a ring. Boosts physical attacks when HP is low. Sure. Doesn't sound very good, but I really don't need the petrification resistance thing. At least I don't think I need it. Not yet. I'm sure at some point I'll need it, obviously. If it exists, it's gotta be needed somewhere. Whoa. Hello. May I enter? Produce the symbol of the king. Who, who's the king? I don't know. What's the symbol of the king? Who's the king? I don't think I have it. I've got so many freaking items. Pfft, I don't know. Duh. Is it a ring? How would I, how would I even present it? I have no idea. I feel like maybe it's a ring that I'm supposed to be wearing. I mean, none of these are... Sp I, I don't think I have it. Hold on, what do these say? Quagmire? Try ring. Okay, yeah, I figured it's a ring, but which one? Visions of ring, therefore pull back. Try left. Quit something required, quite something required ahead. Okay, I figured it was a ring. Don't think I have it. Probably something you have to get. I'm thinking from a boss, maybe. But perhaps you could buy it, I'm not sure.
Okay, where to now? Well, I did just defeat the boss. I guess I can just continue on and see what's through there. Let's do that. Let's see if I can take my hoodie off while I'm running. I'm freaking burning up here. Oh god, don't kill me. Curses. Free me from the shackles of this heat. Ah, there we go. Mm, those little shits are still down there, aren't they? Oh yeah, and that requires a key! Which I don't... Still think I don't have. Hmm. Yeah, I still need some sort of depetrifying thing to get through these guys. There's two of them. There's one here and then there's one somewhere else. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. I had an idea. probably not going to go anywhere, but I did have an idea that I want to check up on. And that's that now that I've defeated Nachka, remember the dude scorpion thing that was in... Oh, shit. That was in here? Oh, my God. Me. <laughs> Me. Yeah, there's a scorpion guy inside of here, and remember he wouldn't talk to me? I'm thinking now that I've defeated Nachka, maybe he will? Oh god, don't curse me! That was close. Friend ahead, but ring required ahead. I need a ring for this guy too? Everybody, everything freaking needs a ring. Ring? 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 What ring? What ring would a scorpion man want? Yeah, thank God for actually being connected online this time. These messages are really helpful. Hold on. How, how did you die? Um... <laughs> it looks like he just got smushed between the pincers. What the hell is that noise? Is that because of the bloodstain? Oh. Okay, the bloodstain comes with a noise. Free sound effects with every bloodstain. <laughs> okay. What ring... Is it the ring of the king? The one I don't think I have? I don't know. <gasps> Wait a minute. Titanite shard, titanite chunk, and bolt stone. Okay. Let me explain the reason I did that. No, oh, don't get cursed! Oh. Okay, so originally I was avoiding those things because they're kind of cute and I had no reason to kill them. However, somebody told me that they contain very good things. However, on top of that, since I'm doing a mostly, for the most part, blind playthrough, I wasn't going to let that change my behavior. I still had no reason to kill them from my own knowledge, it was only from outside knowledge that led me to think that. So, so I was thinking, okay, I'm still not going to kill them. But, something else happened. 
You see, I was actually watching a video of somebody playing the first Dark Souls. And I saw them kill something that looked exactly like that and it had a bunch of nice stuff in it. Then that's when I realized, oh, okay. Even if nobody had told me that they contained anything awesome, simply having seen this means that I would have started killing them anyway. So that's why I'm now going to kill them. They contain shinies. Let's check out the bolt stone. Slab, chunk, shard. Imbues equipment with lightning. Mm-hmm. Did you fuck off already? Freaking tired of being cursed. Yeah, one of the things I want to do next time I become human. Good luck. Hurrah for Labyrinth, but Visions of Loss, Weakness, Fire. Yeah, one of the things I want to do next time I become human, aside from doing some PvP, is also I want to put down a... a, uh, a helpful mark, whatever they're called. Put down a, a summon sign. At a boss room, probably this one. Just to see if I can get in on a boss fight. I think that'd be pretty cool. An interesting different experience. Help me. <laughs> See? Help me. See? These people need help. Hurrah for misfortune. Hurrah for rear. Try friend oddball. I have no idea what that means. What is wrong with the level geometry? There's a freaking rip in it, and the texture resolution between these two rock surfaces are completely different. Anyway, continuing on. I'm gonna look out for any of those faces to use the uh, lock stones in or something like that. Doors of Pharos. Oh, Pharos is lock stone, right? I guess I should be on the lookout for the phases. Yeah, Ferris is Lockstone. Got three of them. Cool. Bonfire try dash. Weakness sorcery. Well, I'm not a sorcerer. Oh, look at this place. It's like a Aztec temple. Oh shit, water. It's gonna make me slow, right? Okay. Big guy. Can't tell what his weapon is. Okay, they have um, a little bit of armor. Those are extremely slow. Pff, missed. Good job. Oh dear God! Fuck me. <laughs> this is not a good fighting environment.
Oh my god. He can't even move. I think he's become unstuck. Mastodon, that's what it is. A freaking Mastodon thing. Why is everybody talking about buttholes in this game? Jesus. To people with ass fetishes. Mimicry ahead in short death. Ooh, okay, mimicry. Is there a chest of a sort? Okay, this one looks smaller. Oh, wait, you're a dwarf. Oh, what the? You're faking me out, you little shit. All right, this one's a lot easier. Yeah, he's got a prep. Look at that. I could probably just take him out in two hits. Yeah, let's do it. All right, that guy was really easy. Prism stone, ten of them. What are those for again? There's lights, right? Yeah. Let's use it. See what it does. Pretty! Purple little stars. Okay, mimicry ahead. And I see a blood stain conspicuously in front of it. Okay. Trap ahead, therefore try attacking. Aha! Oh my god! Oh, holy fuck! <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> the monster design on that is amazing. That is fucking terrifying. Okay, poison. Good to know. That is fucking terrifying, Jesus! I really love the monster design, it's amazing. Dark leggings. What a nasty piece of work. I wonder what happens if you try to open it. Does it maybe just like eat your hand or something? Whoa. Wait, you're kidding me. They're actually better than what I have on right now? They're better than what I have on right now, and they weigh a hell of a lot less. And I just bought them. Son of a bitch. What about these rusted mastodon leggings? They're extremely heavy, but I'm going to put them on just to see what they look like. <laughs> this fashion is all the rage. I actually do kind of look pretty cool, don't I? Like my blue coat and my gigantic legs and my... lion-like head. Is that really like a lion? Not sure if that's a lion. Something. Something ferocious. Alright, well, I guess I'll put these on. They're... quite good. They look pretty neat, too. They look... dark, like the name implies. A little bit evil, but that's fine. What else did I pick up? There's something else. Pfft, like I'm never gonna be able to find it. Whatever. 